The fourth leg of the 2018 ITU World Triathlon Series saw 47 of the best women in the world descend on Leeds in Northern England. Katie Safira is coming in as the pre-race favourite because current series leader and double world champion Flora Duffy is out injured. Vicky Holland, one of the home hopes, a strong lineup from the British women, five in the field, and huge crowds as ever in this part of the world, home of the Brownlee brothers, of course. The swim in Waterloo Lake in Round Hay Park. This a full Olympic distance race, so 1,500 metres in the water. That meant two laps. We're used to seeing Great Britain's Jessica Learmont out front, and this was no different. Some very talented Americans with her, though. The likes of Spivey and Cook, to say nothing of Zafirez. Learmont had finished in the top ten in both the previous editions of this WTS Leeds Triathlon, and she was out the water first, but the Americans were hot on her tail. And they had themselves a nice little advantage over the chasing pack out the water. Summer Cook had issues in transition, so it was Safirez, Spivey and Learmonth, the leading three. Learmonth in particular rode really aggressively, made several attempts to drop both Safirez and Spivey. They didn't succeed. And having had a 54-second gap over the chasing pack out the water, it was whittled down and whittled down. And by the time they got four kilometres from home, it must have been psychologically very draining, the pack about to swallow them up. So a group of 23 came into transition together. Pretty much all the big names were there, although there had been several withdrawals. And first off, it was Sophie Caldwell and Georgia Taylor-Brown, the two Brits, first and second. Two youngsters leading the way. And they were soon joined by Vicky Holland. A 32-year-old who had huge problems with injury last season, saw her race just once on the WTS Tour, but soon she was out front. The halfway stage, and from there it was her race to lose. Taylor Brown did brilliantly to stay with her, but as Holland came round the corner for the final time with the finish line just about in sight, there was no danger. Her first race win for three years, only her third ever on the WTS Tour. Hugely popular, as you can imagine, with the local supporters here. And in second place, a potential career game-changer for Taylor Brown. A look back to third would see a gutsy Katie Zafiris, who got past Caldwell and others, to register yet another podium. She looked in trouble on both the bike and the run, but somehow found the strength to come through. It was her 29th birthday the day before. A very happy trio on the podium. I don't think too many would have tipped Vicky Holland for victory, but she found a way to get the job done. Is that the, is that the best victory of your career? Must be, mustn't it? It was definitely the toughest, you know. I think the word to describe me today was probably a yo-yo. I had a fantastic start, second lap on the swim. I just got... I found it so hard, Jess was pushing the pace so much and I ended up in no man's land and I was pretty much useless for the whole of the bike. Those other British girls, I've got to take my hat off to them, Sophie Georgia and Jodie before she punctured, so strong on the bike and I just felt awful pretty much most of the day and it was a case of a bit of a war of attrition and I don't really know how but I seem to have come out on top. Well she did come out on top but on top overall now is Katie Zafirez who takes over the series lead from Flora Duffy, but with four races still to go, including the grand final, it's wide open.